Hey friends, I am at Animal Kingdom today. I made myself a fast pass for Flight of Passage, but I got held up and now I am late for my fast pass. It was set to end at 4.55, it's now five o'clock. I still have to walk in the park and head over to Pandora. So let's see how late we are actually gonna be for this Flight of Passage and if they actually still let me ride. Let's go do this. <laughs> Oh, the jungle VIP I reached the top and had to stop And that's what's bothering me I want to be a man, man cop And stroll right into town And be just like the other men I'm tired, I'm walking around Oh, I have officially made it into Pandora. I am now 30 minutes late for my flight of passage fast pass. So let's see if they let me ride, if not. If they don't, it's not a big deal. I've ridden it before, but it's good to know, you know, what your you know time limit span are. 30 minutes, will they let you ride? We'll find out. It's sitting at a 50 minute standby wait right now, which is actually very low. I mean, I have never seen lines longer than I have for Flight of Passage. So uh, let's give it a shot. Hey, I am 30 minutes late. That's okay. It's good? Yeah, it's fine. Green, thank you. Well, look at that, there was no fuss at all. 30 minutes late and they were just like, oh, it's okay. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing that or actually being late on purpose for anything. I mean, if you have a time, you should show up at your set time, you know? But things happen, you never know. You know what I mean? You might get tangled, might be held up, but it's good to know that there is some lean way. So, I don't know if an hour or two hours late will cut the deal, but 30 minutes should be fine. And for now, I am just super excited to ride. It's been about two months since I rode, and I really like this ride. I like the smell, and I like just the queue itself. I love it over here, look at this. Everything amazing. The waterfalls, the bridges, the floating mountains. Everything is amazing and very detailed. If I had to choose between the most detailed land, between Pandora, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, I would have to say Pandora. I like these handprints too. Yeah. And check out the cave drawings of the Banshees. They're pretty awesome too. The only downside to actually getting a fast pass for Flight of Passage is you miss that amazing queue that they have in there. So many cool things. They have one of the avatars on display, like in a like tube, just floating there. Pretty awesome. One thing to point out though is when you're riding Flight of Passage, it definitely has the longest wait after you get to the separation part or where you touch your fast pass. Just going through the safety and security, the screening, the queuing up, it takes a while. It is now 5.32. So let's see how long it takes to get from here to on the ride. Loading up on both sides and there's about, I say 25, 30 people on both sides all the way up. I am a single rider though, woo woo! So maybe they might come down the line and look for a party of one, and that would be me! Single rider! Let's go! Let's go Z! Sorry. Thank you! Great! Welcome to the Avatar program. Stand still over your number, you're not gonna feel a thing.
We're all clear. So it's now 546. It took us about 15-20 minutes to get through the pre-show, but the pre-show is just as entertaining as the ride. That was great. I really enjoyed that ride. It's a lot of fun. I was going to record on it, but then I decided maybe not. I mean, it's not really good on video. Like, it's something you really need to experience firsthand. I mean, you can watch videos to get an idea or a concept of what it's like, but it's nothing like it is on video. Firsthand experience. Oh, oh boy, oh, what a treat. Everywhere. This is completely empty of people. <laughs> As we can see, it isn't. So it's going to be fun watching him deal with all of you. Here he comes now. All right, sweet. Come on. Give yourself a good little pet talk. All right. This is going to be one fine day for you to do your fine solo checkoff run. The railroad told you that going to be stress free and completely empty. What? Surprise! Visit us to Pandora. Oh, He's oh, making his final solo oh, checkoff oh, run. Let's hear it for Sweet Two. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. Thank you. You're uh, very welcome. Silly question. Uh, what are all these people doing here, Railroad? Oh, he's right. That's a really silly question. Then visit. One thing I admire a lot about Pandora is like the transitions in between the lands, like Africa into. Pandora is almost like it just fades perfectly like you're walking and you're hearing like bugs chirping and all the cool sounds of Pandora and then it just stops and you're in Africa I decided to walk over to Africa and look at this pathway between Africa and Pandora nobody's here how awesome is that Ooh, I can hear there's a party happening over in Harambe. I love it over here. It's so much fun. It's like a festival happening here all the time. And if you come through here, why there's a Lion King show in progress, it's so cool because it's not busy at all. Oh! I'm going to pull over for a second and I'm going to see if I can get a fast pass for Expedition Everest because I'd like to ride that too. Let's see what we got here. Animal Kingdom. Come on Expedition Everest. No. Oh yeah. Look at that. There's one for 635. It is now 623. Perfect. I'll take it. Thank you. And away we go. Now that I have a fast pass for Expedition Everest, there's got to be choices made because I've been trying to go to Food and Wine Festival every night only because I'm so excited that it's Food and Wine Festival. I was there last night and I was going to go there tonight to get dinner, but I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to decide whether I should stay at Animal Kingdom and have a good time or if I should head out to Food and Wine. Choices. I'll ride Expedition Everest first and then see how I feel after that. You know, that's a big decision maker right there. And since I have a couple minutes before I have to conquer Mount Everest, I might as well grab myself a good old Bud Light and take in the view of that beautiful mountain. Look at that. Seriously, I don't care what anyone says. That is visually the best roller coaster ever. I don't think you can beat it, honestly. Just staring at it, unbelievable. Cause I'm a mountain man. Thank you. I have to say, Animal Kingdom has some of the best signage I've ever seen. It's so cool just to look at the walls and the posters and the writings that they have everywhere because they're all kind of witty and funny. For instance, look at these water fountains. It says, please use this water provided here for your convenience. Do not drink from streams and wells. Things like that get me excited because an Imagineer was like, wouldn't it be funny if we put that there? I think that's awesome. All right, I think it's time. So let's go get that Yeti. 
It has been two months since I lost my Magic Band and I have not bought or replaced it yet. I've been scanning with my card for the past two months. I lost my Mickey's Not So Scary Magic Band from 2017. It was black and it was candy corn. It was my favorite one, but now it's gone and I don't have a Magic Band. I'm looking into buying a different one, but I really want like the Epcot 35th anniversary one where it says Reflections of Earth. But I would probably pick maybe the new Farewell to Illuminations one. I don't know if they're in stock or not, but I'm gonna get a new Magic Band eventually. Until then, it's just stupid Judy. Thank you. <laughs> what a lovely family. You know, instead of getting a fast pass, I probably should have just rode single rider since there's no line. This is all the line for the front though. I do like the front on a lot of rides, but Expedition Everest is a little different. So I don't know what you would prefer. What one would you want, the front or the back on Expedition Everest? It's a tough one. Not only was there no line for the single rider, there's no line for the standby either. Well, at least I got a fast pass. I went for the back. He's excited. Have a good day! the trick expedition everest did a great job getting my heart going and getting some life brought back into me so with that being said i think i'm gonna head to epcot and enjoy a little food and wine for dinner but i had a great time here today i mean it was awesome honestly flight of passage expedition everest all in one day can't go wrong so love the life you live and uh we'll see you next time bye